Only recently, Prime Minister Rowley and I were having a conversation when many young people, young, brilliant people, questioned the decision of not having a certain artist perform in the country. This car was shooting up behind, run off the road, one man dead on the road, next man dead in the car jam. So I don't know what went on. Some shoot out at other. I seen bullets and holes all over the car and then. Wow. I have permission to do what I do, and written permission from the Constitution. And I want to make this point to all those who would have enjoyed the drumming, the lyrics of our region. We do not need lyrics that promote violence in this region. We have the ability to promote good lyrics and lyrics that will move people in the positive direction. Delta 9 family, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the platform, do remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all the trending topics coming out of Guyana and the diaspora. Let's get right into the topics. Now today, they're taking a very tough stand and a very firm one on Trinidad music in Guyana. Recently, we hear that Cayman 6 was supposed to do a show in Guyana for the Mash Weekend. Well, I don't know that the show that want to come off because if anybody could remember right, you know that Raul and them is keep a show every match time and there'll be a big show. Can remember when Movado and them gonna come to the country for the first time? They come around match time because Masharam is a show keeping in GFC ground and different different place all the years. For you to come as a new promoter and do a show on any night close to that night, you're not gonna be able to pull it off in Georgetown. It's gonna be hard. Because the bigger promoter and the more seasoned promoter can make it hard for you to be able to pull it off. I can just put it like that. But going back to the whole conversation with Cayman 6, he went in a big shootout recently in Trinidad because of the big beef that's going on with the 6 versus the 7s. And if anybody understands what's going on on the street, with the music right now, with the 6 versus the 7 in Trinidad music, that's a big clash big and way more dangerous not as big but way more dangerous and way more bloody than the gully versus gaza back in the day with movado and vibes cartel there was a big clash between movado and vibes cartel right now they got a big clash with a lot of bodies already in the ground between the six and the seven but guess what Skeng coming to Guyana just now. Skeng coming to Guyana in a couple of weeks, right? And guess what? Skeng is on the seven side. Skeng is rooting for the seven. And right now, he and K Man 6 got a feud where they're going back and forth at each other in a lyrical war. Remember this lyrical war? I already got a lot of soldiers in the ground. Yes, a lot of young people are dying right now in Trinidad because of what's going on in songs and in the music could you believe that and that's why in this video you're gonna see president ali is going before a lot of the leaders from all over the world and everybody's cheering what they cheering they're cheering the war against violent lyrics and trini bad music could you believe that and that's one of the main reasons why Cayman six couldn't perform in guyana because the president would not have it he would not have it because of what's going on right now and the fact that he was just in that big shootout that you just see right there in the beginning of the video where four persons lost their life and it's not even two months yet since that went down could you imagine that not to mention he was already banned from grenada let's get right into this video and hear the president speak let's hear the president lay this all out and talk about it right in front of the prime minister rowley and a lot of other heads of state and they said they're taking a firm strong stance on the lyrics and the content in the music that's coming out 
of the entire Caribbean. But guess what? I want to know if they're doing all of this. How come Skeng still got perform in Guyana in a couple of weeks? Seems like this is a bias thing or they ain't paying attention to what's going on with the sevens and it's just the six them ban. But leave here with President Ali got us right now. Sometimes, as a region, we are in tough positions and we have to take tough measures. But always, the region toughness is always in the interest of the region's people. That is fundamental for the region. You were You enjoyed the brilliance of culture. In this region, culture is our staple. Culture is that common thread that brings us together. If there is anyone in this room that did not felt uplifted, even to the point of wanting to move with the rhythm of the drums, then something is wrong with your energy level. We, in Guyana, have taken a very conscious decision in ensuring that we invest in culture as a tool and mechanism of unifying our people and as a tool and mechanism of telling the story of who we are as a people. And in this region, we owe it to the generation ahead of us to keep our culture alive and to invest in this culture. Because the culture is what distinguishes us from any other region. A culture is distinctly different from any other region. And I want to make this point to all those who would have enjoyed the drumming, the lyrics of our region. We do not need lyrics that promote violence in this region. We have the ability to promote good lyrics and lyrics that will move people in the positive direction and move people to think, act, and behave positively. As leaders of this region, we have to take this situation very seriously and ensure the lyrics of the region is the lyrics of Bob Marley, the lyrics of posit positivity, and the lyrics of positive living and positive change. We must take this responsibility on today. For some, this may seem a soft issue, but this is a fundamental issue. Oh, you still didn't get your ticket this flight takes off every single day tap that subscription button thanks only recently prime minister Rowley and i were having a conversation when many young people young brilliant people questioned the decision of not having a certain artist perform in the country because that artist is on an Interpol red list. We cannot allow our culture to be captured in this narrative. We have to lead a revolution against this narrative and reposition our culture in the way it was conceived. That is for positive living and positive upliftment. And this is not about anyone or against anyone. This is for our region and for the future of the young people in this region. I want to pause to recognize our distinguished guests from the U.S. It's only in CARICOM. We can bring the U.S., Saudi Arabia, the U.N., uh, and Canada so closely together. 
Oh, come on, put your hands together. What a picture. Saudi Arabia and the U.S. Shoulder to, sh shoulder to shoulder. In the interest of a stable and secure world, let us all put our shoulders together. This region can lead by example. There is no war too big for us to stop. What we need is the willpower. What we need is the courage. What we need is the determination. What we need is the constancy of our moral compass. That is what we need. And if we have constancy of our moral compass, then we can stand up every day and sing from the same, same hymn sheet without worrying what others are thinking about us because our actions are consistent every day of the year. And talking about singing and from hymn sheet, my dear, our dear, respected Prime Minister, Right Honorable Ralph Gonzalez, even the most popular hymn you had difficulties with. The goodness of God. You could have called on me to help you. But that is the region we live in. We can go to a temple, a church, a mosque, any leader in this region can go to a temple, a mosque, a church, and be comfortable. Because we do not see religion as a mode of separation. We see it as a tool of bringing people together and inspiration. <laughs> Prime Minister Motley offered the world to utilize a historical site in Barbados to build an international university of peace and tolerance in a region that understand how to live in peace and tolerance. We have this natural ability as a region. And I believe that every time we act collectively as a region, we were able to bring positive change in this world. And for this reason, alone, CARICOM is a critical organization and we should all be proud of CARICOM because there are many examples in the history of this world. When CARICOM acted together, when CARICOM moved together, we saw positive changes and positive movements in our global environment. This car was shooting up behind, run off the road, one man dead on the road, next man dead in the car jam. So I don't know what's going on. Some shoot out at harder. 
I see the bullets in holes all the car and then. Wow. I have permission to do what I do, and written permission from the Constitution. 100% wild crafted CMOS from nature by natives. Why pay more?